just remind me never to ask Gav how we should start the videos because, well, for all the reasons that are obvious, right? Anyway, have you heard of the bass player, John Button, who just took over bass duties in The Who from Pino Palladino? Well, he's basically one of those LA session badasses, right? Who's played with the likes of Shakira, uh, Sheryl Crow, uh, The Cause, and obviously is now on tour with The Who. In fact, here he is kicking some ass with The Who. Now, lucky for us, John has just been over here gigging with The Who. He actually just did a gig in Wembley. And we thought, well, we've got to hook up with John and get him to do the SPL Session Challenge. <laughs> now, if you've not heard of the SPL Session Challenge before, we did it a few months back with Sheree Reid, and he absolutely killed it. And this is where we get a piece of music that the artist has not seen before. We sit them down. They have one or two minutes to look over the piece. And then we hit the red light, and they are in no you know, pre-run through or anything like that that it is just real on the spot stuff and this is to show you guys what these session guys do when they're you know in the recording zone and also we're going to get John to speak through and talk us through the piece and what he's looking for when he actually looks at the sheet music as well so you guys can learn from you know one of the best session guys in the world without further ado let's get into this week's SBL session challenge by the way this is Gav Bonjour. okay guys so we're going to be evil to John <laughs> <laughs> because we've got him here, why not? You know, he might as well be. Fun. I know, and we put a uh, we put a piece of music in front of John that he's never seen before, and we're basically going to you know hit the red light on or get the red I light on, and, and see how you just. But there's a point to this, right? And I want to talk to you, John, about what when you see a piece of music like this for the first time, what are the first things that you look for? Uh so. Myself, normally I would look for a dark spot of ink. <laughs> so if there's a lot of like... Danger areas. Yeah, you yeah. just kind of scan it and go, where is there a bunch of black stuff? Yeah. Um, so if there were a bunch of 16th note rhythms, I'd probably suss that out. I looked yeah. at the tempo and went, how fast is this thing going? Okay, yeah. Um, and so this particular track, I looked over and went, oh, look at all these ledger lines. This is up high. Yeah. And there's some movement going on and it's 140 so i'm like so i checked that out i was like oh well, you know yeah kind of scope it out ahead of time for sure and i kind of i kind of looked through and went oh the rest of it's pretty, pretty easy pretty simple pretty straightforward yeah. so i can kind of you know get to that but yeah. I, I would definitely you know sort of in my head play this yeah yeah you know yeah, you're like you can like kind of trying to get yeah. a rhythmical vibe for it yeah, yeah figure out the rhythm and figure out where you're going to put it on the neck and how you're going to get around to all the necks or all the <laughs> notes and then after you've done that, is it, is it a case of looking at the actual, like where the repeats are and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah see if there's a DS, yeah. Alcoda, all that, you know, get those like jumps and stuff, because yeah. those can hang you up. Yeah, they can be a bitch, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Where's the code? And then, and then the last thing I saw was that there is some text written here, and it was like, bass solo, and I went, oh no, the door's over there, I'm gonna head out, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm going to call Mike Get Pope. out of town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so in terms of, like, obviously we've got a bump, 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 you know, that rhythm. Is there, when you're looking at a piece of music like that, are you going to sort of, like, stick to that generally, or would there be any ever be a case where you say to the producer, hey, do you want me to stick to this rigidly, or totally. can I kind of, like, interpret it? I think it it would sort of depend on the session, and I would sort of feel it out, Yeah. but that would definitely be something I'd ask a producer, like, hey, you wrote this out, so do you want, like maybe there's a synth bass Go, yeah. in unison, or the guitar is in unison, so you'd have to stick to this. So yeah, yeah, that'd be a good question, like, hey, do you want me to stick to this, or do you want me to kind of yeah. play around it? And you might also, hey, drummer, yeah, are you gonna I, is play that, that rhythm? Is that that do we care? Pattern? Yeah, do we care, yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, for sure. And I suppose some, some of it is like just getting going and then figuring it out on the fly as you go along. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as long as, you know, it's not a session where you have to get everything in the first one or two takes. I mean, if it's a film session, you're probably just going to be reading what's on Yeah, there. you're going to be just absolutely reading yeah. what's written yeah. on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. You ready? Are you up for no. the challenge, John? Yeah, you are. Oh, but now I am. I've got, got super glasses <laughs> envy. Anyway, without further ado, right. let's do this. All right.
Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please in the comments, let us know who you want next to do the SBL session challenge and I'll see if I can pull it off for you. And obviously, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit subscribe and turn those notifications on. Take it easy, I'll see you in the shed.